humor me. You were nominated tonight, correct, for tell me which category, because I always forget and I get this screwed up, and I don't want to get it screwed up. No worries, I have no idea. I'm just here to play around. No, I'm nominated for uh, Best R&B Album of the Year. Are they, are, do they do that during the pre-tell, or are they doing that during the show? I don't know, but I'll be finding out soon. They actually don't tell you that until the day of. Yeah, so I guess they kind of... Well, doesn't. I'm really here to play. Really? I really mean that. Um, this is a party, a celebration for yeah. everybody and all of their art. Uh, so whether you win or lose is not the most exciting part. It's more about all the beautiful people. Yeah. Yeah. And tell us about what you're working on right now, because you're a little busy. You got a lot of stuff going on. What's going on with you right now? At this particular moment, I just ran out of my limo with cameras because I'm on a reality show called R&B Divas Los Angeles. Uh. Yeah, and then I'm also working on an opus, uh, which will be released on May 22nd, uh, May 26th. So I'm really excited about the lyricist opus. What is the lyricist opus? The lyricist opus is an opus that I created, uh, full of beautiful lyrics and a live orchestra. I just wanted to bring it back to that film scoring, composition sounding music, uh, just to kind of flex my composition muscles. Yeah. How's the R&B Divas thing working out so far? Is Faith still on the show? Is she still part of it? Or are they moved on to a whole new cast? Well, she's in a different city. So oh. she's in Atlanta and I'm in Los Angeles. Sorry, and it's been, that. it is. <laughs> it's been pretty fun so far. So far they've coined me as the flower child. So uh, I guess when you guys tune in, you'll see what that means. Okay. Yeah. Are you d handling the cameras all right so far? I mean, aside from all these cameras, but I mean, it's a different kind of reality. Right. Uh, it's very uncomfortable being yeah. on camera all day um, because you don't really know if anybody's saying what they really think. Yeah. But I have a problem where I always say what I think. That's why they love you on reality then. We'll see what happens. I don't want to keep you any longer, but thank you so much for patiently waiting. Have a lovely evening, Chrisette. Take care.